Welcome to part number 39 of Need for Speed Underground 2. This is the Movie Chicane, and today we're going to begin Stage 5's uh, random events in the Free Roam. Oh, you saw the video where I got the Black Mask GTR? Dude, that thing is ugly as hell. <laughs> That's why I was upset. Anyways, we're going to begin with the Street Cross event, but I just realized we have... We have a fully tuned GTL with all of the modifications, so I'm going to be right back. And I'm gonna go ahead and just tune up, tune up this car real quick. Okay, we're back. Um, I figured, you know, in this segment, we might as well get some of the street cross stuff out of the way. So I tuned the car up for street cross racing. The transmission can finally be completely tuned. And yeah, here we go. Look at that thing. From last to first in one corner. This car is freaking dialed in, man. Uh, yes, not in this segment, though. Just in this segment, I want to get, like, a couple of the regular events out of the way, because I want to get the sponsorship first. So, after this particular segment, we're going to be doing the incomplete events of Stage 4. Well, we're not going to do just street cross stuff in this segment. We'll, we'll do some drift events too, but I figured, you know what, might as well tune up the car for um, street cross right now. Running great. <laughs> it's running good, dude. Apart from that one issue earlier with um, the magazine covers for whatever reason, um, the game hasn't crashed ever since you showed me that little trick, so I appreciate it. Dude, look how much we're dominating. Am I playing this on PSP? No, this is a PC game, dude. Underground Rivals is the one on PSP. <laughs> yeah, I hope so as well, Plep King. Hey, Barney, what's up, dude? Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, that's right. I'm stupid. <laughs> See, I, I'm, I'm not YouTube material. And where are my punk subscribers now? See, they're all showing no go, that's why. Except for the people who are watching the stream right now. And video. Well, I'm getting no rep points for that, but hey, that was a fun battle. Alright, sponsor time. Shit, these are the only two sponsors that I have? Koenig and Bliston? Okay. Well, Koenig is going to give us the most money in the long run in terms of the, um... In, in terms of the hidden events, or not hidden events, the uh, incomplete races in Stage 4. So, I'm going to choose Ko- I chose Koenig. Alright, let me make a quick thumbnail for this video, and let's move on. All right, well, there's a drag race nearby. Let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll do the next street cross event, which is around the corner as well. This Pontiac GTO should be a king on the drag strip. Oh, the event wasn't there. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's right there. I'm blind. Uh, no, I haven't, Pleb King. <laughs> that sounds funny, though. Well, for some reason, the car didn't turn when I went on the right side. Other than that, we're just going to completely dominate this race. Because holy crap, this car is amazing on the drag strip. Look at that. Shit. 
Beautiful. Nicely executed. There we go. Doing donuts in victory lane and moving on to the next event, which cool. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's going to be the street cross race right around the corner. So yeah, I don't really plan these out too much. I mean, in terms of this game. So you guys heard me say, oh, this will be a street cross event, LP or part of the video. But really, I'm just doing events around me. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at that sweeper body kit on the Audi A3. Little bump and run, good short track racing style right there. No kidding, dude. I mean, I'm part of that club, too. It's only going to get worse, trust me. Once we get more money, dude, and once we get to rice out the A3 a little bit more, it's going to get much worse. Believe me. Which, we just got a bunch of money from signing with a new sponsor anyways. Pretty much, dude. See, this is pretty much the point of the game where I think it's a little bit more lenient, at least for now, because it's like we're able to finally tune up the transmission the way we want to. Because of that level 3 racing transmission or whatever. Extreme package. Look at the lead we have. Three seconds. Four seconds now. Boom. All right, what's next? Uh, there's a circuit race around the corner, so let's go ahead and do that. Just because I'm too lazy to edit out these videos. <laughs> so let's just do the most convenient thing that's near us. Hey, look, it's right there across the street from the house. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was a great entry into the freaking icon itself, right? I don't think I've ever raced this track before. I don't recall this one. Looks cool. Okay, then. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, people. That one infinity died in the first corner. Okay, he caught up. Well, hit in the water bag. Now we're down to fourth. Up to third again. What's with this game's obsession and like Sweeper and Orion body kits? Okay, that plan didn't work. I was trying to get the Mustang to crash into. There we go. Holy shit! 
<laughs> oh my god, everyone dead. Except for the focus, I think. I think the fourth focus is the only guy who made it through. Of course they caught up. No surprises there. Oh yeah, because these are her streets and whatnot. <laughs> Probably. Rachel has some pretty bad taste apart from her 350Z in that case. Actually, I, I like her 350Z a lot. Oh man, that freedom, that level 3 nitrous. That moment when you've been running with level 1 nitrous the entire game, and then like, you finally get to this nitrous bottle. And there's so much you can use. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> that, that's great. Oh, you dick! Oh yeah, because their um, 350Z is with all um, stage 2 parts. You know, at least it's the second lap. I wonder if Brad Lawless is at that park at that fountain as well because man dude that freaking taxi just cut into me Yeah, it's real sketch around there, dude. I, I agree. But hey, I mean, we're leading. We have almost all our nitrous back. That's the most important part, to be honest. And you know what? If I have to repeat the, the race itself, I wouldn't be too upset because this isn't a Jackson Heights race. I actually like this track itself. This is a pretty fun track, I have to say. I was jabbing on the brakes at the fountain just to make sure that nobody hits me. Or that I don't hit anybody. Traffic is starting to... Or not traffic. Cars are starting to close in behind me. Oh, I have this nitrous just in case I need it. Oh, we, we definitely will. I, I want to do something soon where, like, I want to do, like, an open lobby kind of thing with Game Ranger. But URL races only, because, dude, six people would be cool. Or 1v1s would be cool, too. Okay, we've done four events so far. Custom HUD and Import Tuner Cover. Cool. Import Tuner is scouting their next cover, looking for winners. So step it up. Oh, I definitely will. I definitely will. Well... You know what? Um, what else is around here? Okay. You know what? Let's do some drag. Let's do some drag racing at the airport. All right. So here we are at the airport. Around the heights? Hell no. So Pleb King said one v one me and the Corolla stock around Jackson Heights. I'm like no. That's stupid. So yeah, drag racing time once again at the airport.
dude. Look how much we're smoking them by. Holy crap. Amazing. <laughs> dude, I love this car. Holy shit. You know, I'll be honest with you guys. I had low expectations for this thing when I first decided, oh, I'm going to get a GTO, because why not? But nah, man. Th dude, this car is fun. And don't worry, the rising will come soon. I promise. Alright, the car's refusal to turn around for some reason kicks in again. This time we get a horrible start. So I guess the thing with the GTO is that you kind of have to just turn early. Really, that's, that's what you gotta do to kind of like fix the issue of the car not turning whenever you want it to. Because the Supra, you can pretty much turn it like whenever you want and switch lanes. GTO, on the other hand, not so much. Okay, how many events have we done? We've done six so far, alright. There's another drag race that just spawned, so let's go ahead and do that. Did you guys see that? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, the rates better step up on their game, dude. Hell yeah, they better do so. I'm coming for them. Shit, I, I thought I was gonna hit the wall. Dude, what a odd race. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, at least we win that time. It looks like there's no more drag racing at the airport for now, I think. How many events have we done? We've done seven. Let's do one more for the sake of the video. Let's do the sprint race here at Coal Harbor. It's gonna be a sprint race like I mentioned earlier, and it's through the harbor. Nice. This should be fun. Just wall riding casually, you know. Ultimate strats right there. You know, I think I've done this course before in one of the hidden events earlier in the game, but backwards, or the other way around. It's starting to come back to me a little bit. Or maybe not, because I don't remember racing through this little train yard. I don't recall that. Holy shit. Dude, that 240 got some massive air. And while those guys just scrap together, I'm just going to sneak through and take the lead. Or not. I wanted to follow the 240, but the G35 pushed me the other way.
Okay, we won. We win! Yay! Okay! So the next thing on our agenda is... Ooh, carbon trunks. Okay, that's why we need to get those super up to 10 stars. So, the next order of business on NFS Underground 2 will be all the incomplete events of Stage 4 and the rising of our Pontiac GTO.